up everybody welcome back to the channel uh, we're gonna be in the garage today fixing the JK uh, last trip out I had a tree pretty good so the uh, steering is kind of messed up we're gonna try to fix that today with some metal cloak, cloak parts that I had that I've had laying around a um, couple things to talk about I want to thank everybody for liking subscribing commenting sharing if you share it or whatever you do we are gaining subscribers left and right i want to appreciate i really appreciate everybody liking the videos subscribing watching them you know giving me feedback really appreciate it that's helping me grow this channel and everything like that second thing i have started my own apparel company it's uh air down apparel um here's what the shirt looks like on the back um, you know, everybody else has their own t-shirt brand, apparel brand, or whatever. I figured, why not start my own? I got a lot of good ideas, you know, for the outdoor enthusiasts, the adventure people, people that like to go off-roading, whatever, you know. There's not really a brand out there that, you know, I feel like that looks towards the, you know, off-road enthusiasts or whatever, so... Air Down Apparel is going to be my new brand. So if you want to check it out, uh, links are going to be down in the description uh, for everything. Uh, going to have all kinds of um, designs coming out. You know, I'm just now, it's all going to be me designing this stuff at the beginning. So, um, but yeah, this is the first shirt. It's a black shirt, you know, simple little design or whatever. I got my Jeep on the back from Moab. But, uh, yeah, so if you want to get yourself a t-shirt, um, go ahead and go down to the description. Links are going to be there. Everything, all the money that I make from the t-shirts, the merchandising, the brand, anything, is going to go right back into this channel to make more content. So you help me out. Uh, you help me out. You um, buy a t-shirt, you're helping me out. Uh, I was going to do, you know, people were telling me, hey, do a GoFundMe or, a, you know, one of those things. I don't want to do that. At least with this, you're getting a t-shirt or sweatshirt or something. So, uh, so hit, so help me out with that if you can. If you're not, you know, whatever. But at least go check it out, Air Down Apparel. And, yeah, let's get into today's video. And let's get, hopefully, fixing this thing because I want to go on some more wheeling trips. And I can't go on any wheeling trips when the steering wheel is is crooked. So uh, let's uh, pull out all the metal cloak parts and show you what we got for it. And then we will get into trying to align this thing at home. All right, everybody, we got the tires off here. Just doing a little preliminary stuff to make this a lot easier. I already got the... Um, my drag link adjuster, I already got it broke loose. Could not get that thing broke loose. Had to use all kinds of different tools. I don't actually have a wrench that is inch and a half or whatever, so I had to use, you know, adjustable wrench with the vice grip and a breaker bar because that stuff would not come off. It's not been, it's been on there for a while. But uh, this is what we're gonna be replacing. There's actually nothing literally wrong with this. Um, story goes i um so i bought this hd drag link kit from metal cloak all right it's like 700 bucks but you know big tires need better steering bigger drag link bigger uh tie rod ends everything metal cloak says all that great so metal cloak has their zinc coating thing had it on there for about a year and noticed one day that the zinc coating was just coming off so I just went online and was asking people that had metal cloak, you know, is this normal, whatever, which there's literally nothing wrong with them. They're like, there's literally nothing wrong with none of this. But they were like, yeah, let metal cloak know. They'll, they'll, you know, make it right or whatever. And I was like, yeah, right, whatever. So I messaged metal cloak. They were like, well, send us some pictures. And I sent them some pictures. They're like, is your address still the same? I was like, yep. They're like, okay, we're going to have this next day air to you. And I was like, okay i was like there's no literally nothing wrong with it i was just letting you know like hey um you know this zinc county is not holding up they're like no we don't want that out out there so just send it uh we're gonna send you another one and then at that time they had upgraded to 
larger size. So this is actually larger than that. And then this bar is like inch and seven eighths or something like that now, which I don't know what size that one is. But yeah, so the bar is actually over here in this box. It's been literally in this box this whole time, just sitting there. And then I got this for the stabilizer. I got a fancy new aluminum piece for that. So that's gonna be cool. So we're gonna get this all fixed up here and uh, hopefully get the steering wheel straight now that I actually got the um, jam nuts and stuff taken off. So let's get into that and get this stuff done with. It shouldn't be, it shouldn't be that much of a job. I'm saying that now, probably a mistake. So I need to get a grease gun. I don't have a grease gun. I need to invest in one. Had one before, lost it somewhere. So I need to get in here. This will be a perfect time to be greasing all my stuff up. I might actually run to the store and go get a grease gun. Cause I need to, I actually have a tube of grease, but I have no grease gun. So I might actually run to the store and see if I can buy a grease gun. So we'll see what happens next. All right, so I went to the auto parts store, got a grease gun, so that's good. So first thing I'm gonna do is, I need to take this GoPro off the straw box. But I think I'm first gonna do is flip this drag link over uh, up so this bar is more parallel to the, um, it's pretty parallel now, but it could be better. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna flip that guy first. And then I'm gonna take these, this bar off and then um, put together the next, the other one. And then, uh, yeah. Do that, get them out on the ground together. That way I can get a pretty, you know, equal amount of length together. And then uh, we'll go from there. So, hang out. Alrighty, so it turns out you can't get the drag link off without taking this bar off. So, you go ahead and just, let me get some light in here. So, you just, light in here. So, you just, Take the cotter pin out. There's a cotter pin in here. Take it out. It's a 27 millimeter. Uh, take the cotter pin out. Take this down a bit. Uh, don't, if you want to keep your tie rod ends, your ends, uh, do like I'm about to do right here. You just turn the nut around, turn the nut around, the castle nut around where you can hit it with a hammer or hit the side of this with a hammer and it'll just fall right down. So. Getting ready to do that, and yeah, just take your hammer, bang, bang, boom, and she loose. So I gotta get underneath here and um, unbolt the uh, whatever it's called there, the steering stabilizer. I gotta unbolt that because I need that for the next to put it over to the next one. But we'll get that unbolted, and then we'll have a new one in here. All right, so this um, drag link, uh, this is tapered. I didn't think it was. I tried to flip it, wouldn't do it. So I, if I wanted to flip this, I'd have to get like a, you know, a drill and drill bit and drill it out so it could be flipped. Um, it's pretty flat as it is with this arc and stuff. So what I did was is I took it all apart, um, put some anti seize on there, three threads, and then backed them all out a bit, the way I can actually get some, um, you know, some adjustment out of it, because I couldn't, think it, I mean, this this was, this was one was um, pretty much all the way bottomed out, and this one didn't have no threads either. So we got those for adjustment now, and then I got the, this all fixed up here. Um, this is the old one, this is the new one. You can see how much beefier the new one is. It's, Huge compared to that one. So we'll get that thrown on the Jeep here. And then we should be done with that. I have the aluminum um, steering stabilizer bracket from Metal Club right here. And we'll put that on as well. All right, let's get this thing on here. Alrighty, so I got it all back together. 
somewhat. It's just loosely put together right now because I'm gonna have to put the tires back on before I really tighten everything down and everything like that. But it's on there. This is gonna have to be tightened. That's why it's just loose right now. Uh, this is gonna have to be, you know, this is loose. Everything's loose, adjustment wise. So I can, um, you know, get it, try to get it straight. It's, it's about, uh, I already measured it now. It's like a quarter inch toe in, which is what you want. I just gotta make sure that it's actually straight. So it looks not really that, it don't look that straight, but the wheel's turned. I gotta turn the, I gotta turn the wheel cause this is not, this is off right here. So, but I gotta get the wheel straight and then tighten it up and everything. So that's what we'll do next. All right, we got it pretty straight. Um, like I said, it's about a quarter inch toe in a little bit, a little less than that. Got the steering wheel straighter than it's ever been. This is on jack stands, so we'll we'll see how it goes when I put it on um, the ground and drive it and see how it does then. So <sighs> last time I did this by myself, didn't turn out too good. I turned to a lima shop, but uh, I don't know. This time feeling good about it. Need to grease up some stuff and then we'll let it down and. Uh, see how it does. So I had it all together. Turns out I had it not in the middle. I had a 2 4 to one side, so I only had steering going to the passenger side and at the driver's side, so that was pretty fun. Bring it back in here, try to fix everything now. It's uh, in the middle at least. The steering wheel stood out straight, but um, you know, uh, I have to probably take it. I'm gonna take it to an alignment shop and have them like really dial it in because it's not exactly straight. I don't, I'm not really a professional. I mean, <laughs> you can probably tell, not professional at this at all. And uh, I don't have, you know, I measured it. It's a quarter, uh, yeah, it's a quarter toe in, but the steering is not correct, so. And the adjust, I have the adjusters too far out. On I got one too far in, one too far out, and I needed to put them in the middle, but I couldn't get them to go in the middle. And anyways, big deal, big, you know, whatever. But it is drivable back together. It's just not straight. The steering wheel is just not exactly straight. It, it never was straight to begin with, so it never has been straight. I, I know why the, when I hit that tree, on the passenger side that the steering wheel got all um, out of whack. This jam nut right here, I think came off because of this bar moves any at all. Like right there, I guarantee you that moved the steering wheel. That, that moves the steering wheel. Like it's tight and everything, but like any movement in that moves the steering wheel. So I assume when I hit that um, tree stump, it hit my tire, which hit, which made that come loose. So. As of right now, I'm done with it until I, you know, take it to the llama shop. Um, I'm gonna hand torque the uh, lug nuts here. I got them with the impact, but I like to go ahead and just go around and get them with that, or get them hand tight the way I know. And then, uh, yeah, we're done for the day. We're done for this one. Um, tomorrow, I'm gonna go put 37s on this thing and do that, so. Next time you see it, it'll be on 37s. Well, next video, it'll be on 37s, so. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me. Um, be nice if I actually had some of you to hang out with me and figure this out with me, because it was a pain in the butt. Pain in the butt. Don't forget to check out my new clothing apparel brand, uh, Air Down Apparel, for me. Check it out, see what you think. Put in the comments what you think about it in design ideas, whatever. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.